Hi, this is Akshay from TechBinders. So in this video, I'm gonna explain you how you can configure your KK board and do further settings so that it may fly. This is very important video and I would like you to give a full attention to this video and please do not skip this video if you really want to fly this quad. So without further delaying, let's get started in this video. I'm very sorry about this propeller I broke it yesterday and, and now I'm not having any spare for these so just ignore this propeller and I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about this Kiki board so first thing first so before arming your Kiki board what you need to require is that you need to turn your transmitter on if you're having this FSD 6 b it'd be very good and if you're having any other transmitter maybe it has screen one FS i6 or of any other company it's off no problem you need to turn it on first and then next what you need to do is that you need to connect your battery and I will recommend you to remove all the propellers from this quad because disasters can happen at any time and I'm a pro so, so I'm not doing that but if I follow the procedure I also should have removed these propellers but it takes a lot of time so I'm not going to do this so when you are using it for the first time I would recommend you to remove all the propellers so that you do not get hurt by these propellers so once you've turned on your transmitter now next thing is you need to you need to plug in your battery so it can be plugged in only one way there is no other way and look at it let me show you this this gives you a certain beat it means that these motors are getting ready for flight so you have done these things now next thing is that you need to arm it let me show you how to arm it So you can see that these are taking a pretty bit of throttle and they are doing it right. So disarm it and we will move on further settings of the quadcopter. So here comes the further setting of this quadcopter. You need to press this button and then you need to go PI editor. The PI editor should be default. If you have not done a flight, I would recommend you to be a default. and. If you have done some changes, uh, the first thing which I would recommend you to go is that move downwards and there will be a settings known as factory reset. You need to do your factory reset if you really want to learn something from this video. So I would recommend you to do a factory reset. Once you have done your factory reset and you need to start from the beginning. So here comes a setting known as receiver test and it's gonna test your receiver let me show you there is one more important thing which you need to remember is these are trimmers or these are known as micro switches and you need to control this it's a analog one so sometimes it may get disrupted here and there and if you see also that they are in the middle it doesn't mean that they are always in middle there will be some deflection I would recommend to correct these micro switches for that what you need to do is that you need to see your settings like here it is there so here you can see that it's showing around a reading of 3 let me try to control it and you can see that it came to zero so you need to do everything zero sometimes it may be possible a slight error of minus one zero one that is pretty much recommended don't go more than two at any case so you need to adjust it and you need to do it every time if you are using this analog transmitter because these micro switches can be disrupted at any time so you need to adjust it before the flight once you have done this step 1, let's move on to step 2, that is receiver sliders. So at receiver sliders, you need to slide your receivers at down, up and let's check whether they are receiving it, your signal or not. In the case of throttle, it will not be always zero, it will be some throttle, so ignore that one. And apart from that, let's see everything is moving in the correct position. Suppose if I am moving the rudder to left, it should move to left, but in this scenario, let me show you. When I am moving to left, it is moving on to right and here it is. So you need to change these settings from your laptop. You need to reverse the channel for this one. As it is not possible to do it on the screen because it is not having on the screen. So you should change the channel and like that you need to check for all the channels. Once you have done that correctly, now let's move on to the mode settings. So here comes very important setting that is about self level. So you need to turn your self level always on. It is because that if you are doing it to disable it, it's a none or if you are doing it with aux, I would recommend you to go for always because you are a beginner so you need to 
turn itself level on it will be pretty much stable by its own it will try to being stable so this is pretty much required for now case and this is the second thing which i am talking about that is about linking roll and pitch so roll is like moving here and that pitch is like going front and the back if you are linking with the roll and pitch it will sometimes get a little bit of disoriented so i would recommend you to turn it off or if you want to turn it on you need to be careful about it the next thing is auto disarm it is pretty much recommended because some cases you have landed your quad a far away sometimes it get disrupted by any of the inputs so what it can happen it can automatically do some maneuvers or it can go to a crash landing so auto disarm pretty much required so after 3 or 4 second it get auto disarm if you are not giving it any input so receiver is standard because it's a mode 2 and i would recommend you to go for this so you need not to change the setting now this is channel map so you need to map the channel but in this case it is not required let me channel map is only required if you want to decide which input will be of use and you need to configure which input for that channel map is required now next is lost model alarm so it will be when you are not having any transmitter receiver in a connection or no signal is given it will beep an alarm but uh, now i am not having the loss alarm means i am not have connected the alarm so it is not pretty much possible in this case now but and also it does not work because uh, you are not having any connection to this kk board it's a very basic board now moving on to the next setting stick scaling so you need to keep this stick scaling to default for now if you are flying it and if you find any trouble then you can do some for the changes now for now it should be at default so minimum throttle is 10 so if you give minimum throttle 10% then only it's gonna power up below that it's not gonna power up height dampening is 0 so this is height dampening means if it lifts up uh, and it get disoriented means it's shaky or wobbling for that height dampening is required and this is the pretty much settings which you need not to change it because you will be in trouble if you are going to change it so i would not recommend you to come to this setting only now miscellaneous off setting is about board offset i don't know what it is spin on arm so it can spin on one arm that maneuvers it can do but it's not very stable board so i will not recommend you to go for it the gimbal control uh, is not of any use because you cannot give input to this gimbal control because uh, it is not built for taking a gimbal now moving on to the next setting is servos on arm you are not having any servos on arm you are having brushless dc motor so it is not required self stabilization setting so this is roll gain this is pitch gain so these are the pi tunings and it should be default for now now this is the sensor minimum and maximum it will give you sensor state and acceleration calibration so you need to do a acceleration calibration once you put it in a firm place and it should be a stable one and then you can give a acceleration calibration it should be done once because it will give you the idea to the board whether in what direction you need to move before acceleration calibration once it is done successfully you will find that the acceleration calibration has been done for all the three axes x y z and then you can continue now this is receiver channel map which i was talking about this is roll aileron and we have turned it on so we have turned the receiver channel mapping on if you want you can adjust your receiver channel mapping according to your transmitter but in case it is default because for uh, channel 1 we are having roll that is aileron and for channel 2 we are having pitch that is elevator and throttle is on the channel number 3 and fourth is for rudder or for movement that is yaw so all the channel has been configured and these are the default one this is mode 2 settings if you want the throttle in first channel or something like that you want to mix it up with mode 1 or other modes so you can change that setting but for now it can be default because you are a beginner so i would recommend you to go for these settings a mode 2 now moving on to the mixer editor this is about the mixing editing that you need to need for channel 1 for channel 2 for channel 3 and for channel 4 and you should never change these settings because this is pretty much required so i would recommend you never come to these settings and never 
do any modifications to this setting show motor layout i have already told you about it once you need to show this motor layout once you have built your quad you need to load your motor layout first so it's an x configuration so i have told in the previous video so you need to go for quadcopter x mode and then it will be done when you need to portion it correctly and then once you load it you can see that you are having the correct motor layout 1 2 3 and 4 everything is correct and in the same state zero bubble so this is pretty much used to check whether you are having uh, you have kept it in a flat position and it is a stable or not so it will check with the help of gyro bubble and if it is working it means your gyro sensors are working and if you want to check you are having acceleration bubble also so it will give you idea that your accelerations are working and this is all about it let me show you the version of this so it's a kk 2.1.5 this is a version and these are pretty much settings that you require for the basic ones and suppose if you are facing any problem then what you need to do is that you can adjust the stick scaling according to your quad is flying and next thing what you need to change is that you need to change your self stabilization settings that is self level setting and the p gain pi limit you need to change the settings of trimming of the roll or pitch by these two settings if you are changing suppose if you are any face any problem by the way the default settings can do the all the things which you require it gonna fly up if you have done everything correctly but still it is not flying then you need to change these two settings other than you need to touch any other settings because if you are gonna touch it then it will be in a big trouble your, your quad will be in big trouble you will be in big trouble so let me show you once i have done all the settings how quietly it is powering up let me do the arming process well it is indoors so i am not gonna fly up and also i am not having this propeller but for your convenience let me show you that uh, all the motors are moving at correct direction and all are moving at the same time just check this so it is in good state although it's a little bit of shaky or wobbling but it can be corrected no problem that's not a big issue so i hope you like this video i have given everything what i've learned from past three years about quadcopter so everything you will find in this video series that is all about the quadcopters how to design how to configure it i've done a video on each and every individual component i hope these videos might be very helpful for you so again if you are having any further problems or query the comment section box is open you can give me a comment or you can give me a whatsapp message also so thank you for watching have a nice day this is akshay signing off and catch you in the next video